In the opening men's compound semi-final, Mike Schlusser of the Netherlands faced Chris Schaff of the USA, with both archers already guaranteed a place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup final. This match went to a single arrow shoot-off. Right, in the 10, but high. Chris Schaff, that is closer for me. It is a 10-10 shoot-off, but Chris Schaff is closer to the spider right in the centre of the target. The second men's semi-final featured two archers still hoping to book their place in the World Cup final. India's Abhishek Verma and Anton Buliev of Russia. And it was the Indian archer who got stronger as the match wore on. Verma's going to the final, he finishes with another perfect. Mike Schlusser claimed a podium place with a stunning maximum in his victory over Anton Buliev in the bronze medal match. He's done it, he's got the 150. So what a men's compound final we had in prospect. Chris Schaff of the USA taking on India's Abhishek Verma. Chris Schaff to get us underway. Yep. Jesus. The bottom of the X. Good shot. Go Chris. Good strong shot. Good timing. Fancy Verma needed that 10 to start this match. Yep. Oh, hello. Now, two X's from Verma and my, oh, hello, <laughs> was... I think that might be a nine for Schaff. It's marked for a measure, that second arrow. Yep. He's back in the 10 ring, in the X ring, so a 29 provisionally. Can Verma start this? Well, it's a, it'll be a dream start for him. It's 30 for Verma. The Indian, I think, is in the lead, and that could put a huge amount of pressure on Chris Schaff. What an amazing start for Abhishek Verma. The pressure is now on Chris Schaff, who has to be the favourite here for this. Yep, X. Back in the, the X-ring for the American. Good group of four arrows. This is really about mind control for the pair of them now. The pressure on Shaft to come back from dropping just one point. That's how high the standard is. And the pressure of leading from Verma. Yeah, I mean, Verma, you know, look at his CV. He's done some amazing things. You know, bronze at World Cup Finals and Samson in 2018. He got silver in Mexico City World Cup Finals 2015. This guy is a real competitor. Good, strong shot. A little bit of extra movement there. You, you talk about the movement afterwards. That looked like a back shoulder dropping out, but still a 10. Yeah, maybe the bit balance was maybe slightly different, but enough. Not quite as good a perfect as the first one for Abhishek Verma, but it's still a perfect. Schaff with a long hold at the start of the third end, puts a nine down the range, and this just opens the door further for Abhishek Verma. Good, strong shot, good timing. Good finish. Yep, there it is. Back in the center. You talk about the accolades of this man over the years. But in terms of current form, Chris Schaff is the favourite for this one. The performance from Abhishek Verma is 
so good it's actually starting to show some cracks yep. in shafts and mindfulness as you've put it Nicky he needs to get control of it a 30 for him or a 29 for him again Perfect. So he has capitalized. He's taken advantage both times that uh, Schaff has dropped a nine. Bit more confidence in that. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs. Just needs to keep them going in there now. Can't afford to drop any more. Oh. Good, strong shot, Chris. Shit, Kermit. Good timing, good focus, good finish. It's a matter of four, sorry, five arrows from winning here in Paris. And you have yep. to say, it's Jeez. against the odds. That's the second one for world number five. And that's the first point dropped from Abhishek Verma. He's into the 29, leading by a single point now. Last end starts with a 10 from the American. Show me one more. Just trying to stay in there, clips the line. You can hear the Indian contingent in the crowd. It is, of course, the teammates and delegates from the Indian Federation. Brilliant shot from Schaff hitting the spider. One more. So much pressure, so much pressure on this. Got to keep it in here. This is all about the spot for the World Cup Finals. Oh, there's a nine, the second one. They are all square, 138 apiece. This match has come down to the final arrow. There it is. And that's in the 10. So now, all of a sudden, all of the pressure is on Abhishek Verma. He needs a 10 to force the shoot off. Gets the 10 to force the shoot off. A 29 twice in a row for Verma has meant that Chris Schaff has managed to get himself right back in this. What a shoot up we've got here. Absolute nail biter again. One arrow now, closest to the middle. You know, this is whether he's going to get a spot to go to the World Cup Finals or not. It could be more at stake. Shoot off here for the compound men's individual title at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 3 in Paris. Chris Schaff of the United States against Abhishek Verma of India. Schaff to go first. Now, the door, again, for a third time in this final, has opened for Verma. Can he hold his nerve? Oh, what a win for the Indian. He pushed out from the start, led all the way, kept the pressure on the favorite and world number five, Chris Schaff of the United States of America. The nerves perhaps got the better of him towards the end of the match, shooting 229s in the final two ends to allow Schaff to force the shoot off. And in the shoot off, it was Schaff who broke down, shooting a nine and opening the door for Verma, but Verma still had to do it, and he put it right in the center of the target. I am feeling excited, and uh, we are waiting a long time, uh, almost two years. Uh, there is no tournament for us, and uh, now is a comeback with a great victory, so it's uh, very good for me and good for country also. What a win for Verma. 
and this is how the rankings have finished as a result of that. Mikey Schlosser at the top as a stage winner. Chris Schaff qualifies second. And there you can see down in seventh, Abhishek Verma with the stage win, along with Braden Gellantine.